Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see what is Hazelcast. So, as you guys already know, Hazelcast is an in memory distributed uh, caching mechanism. So, there are lots of distributed caching mechanisms. In the previous videos, we saw um, what is the gemfire and uh, his uh, in this particular video we're going to see what is hazelcast so hazelcast is exactly similar to gemfire but hazelcast is for the jvms right so hazelcast can be used in java because um hazel we will see what is that next right so um, same way for uh, similar to how other uh, in memory data grids exist hazelcast has the persistence the scalability the reliability all these are there so it has a data grid as well so like how we had in gemfire hazelcast also has a data grid so you have like lots of um, um, nodes connected in the grid and then data data is shared across these nodes and all these data is all in memory persistent so all these are in the memory itself okay uh, hazelcast follows this masterless architecture approach so it is similar to cassandra so there is no master slave concept you have like um, every nodes which are a master for that particular request okay so the uh, if a node receives the request from the client that particular node will be the master uh, so if a new request comes in there will be a different master so there is no master slave concept that is why it is called masterless architecture so which is which is uh, similar to the concept in cassandra okay um, if let's say one of the node goes down um, the um, hazelcast framework or the architecture it automatically rebalances the um, grid so new nodes will be spawned or the other nodes will be synced up automatically and uh, these are highly scalable so you will not see that uh, the nodes are down so you will have seamless integration with the uh, rebalancing architecture okay so you can add uh, or remove nodes anytime um, in the cluster on the grid okay so data partitions are uh, done in the form of clusters so obviously uh, similar to other um, in memory frameworks data partition is done uh, across the cluster so the data will be stored in um, all the nodes in the cluster okay so they are partitioned basically across the cluster in the different nodes okay uh, one more thing about the um, in memory data grid is um, in the hazel casters you can have maps sets list queues multi maps basically you can have the collections framework implemented using the in-memory data grid okay the other major feature about hazelcast is hazelcast is for the jvm as i said earlier so you can um, share data of a hash map across the jvms so how do we solve our current day-to-day uh, -day problem um, uh, with the hash maps right? we use concurrent hash maps for uh, sharing the same hash map across the thread across the threads but if you want to say uh, share a hash map across the jvm right now we don't have any way to do that right so hazelcast solves that particular problem so you can share the hash map across the jvms so you can create a hazelcast instance and then you can access the hash map put the hash map get the hash map using the hazelcast instance across the jvm so that is the in memory data grid so basically hazelcast provides the data across the jvms right there is also publisher subscriber model uh, or the messaging um, channel which uh, every uh, in-memory data um, grid provides so hazelcast also has that so you can have a publisher and subscriber model and then you can publish messages from the um, hazelcast instance and then the subscriber can consume messages via that okay uh, there is also cluster level locks inside hazelcast so let's say you are uh, writing the data in a sp specific cluster uh, you can have cluster level locks, so you can lock that particular cluster and you have lots of concurrent utility so you don't have to worry about um, querying from a different cluster so if you're querying back from a different cluster that cluster might not be locked and there are lots of uh, concurrent utilities um, uh, which hazelcast provides okay there's also distributed executor service which hazelcast provides um, uh, out of the box which uh, which also runs as a executed uh, uh, distributed uh, service basically okay uh, as i said earlier we can share collections across the jvm so you can have maps list and all these 
um, which which can be shared across the JVM. So you can have one JVM with a single hash map, and you are populating that in one of the JVM. The other JVM can use it. So you, if you use Hazelcast, you can just put it inside Hazelcast, and then the other JVM can use that particular cache. So this solves the problem of caching. So that is why it's a in-memory data grid, right? so that is what i wanted to cover uh let's see why what is there in the website uh, i don't think the website has too much of information but there are lots of documentations which you can go through uh, where people are using hazelcast or already uh, lots of investment banks are using hazelcast for uh, synchronizing the data across the jpm so they are using it for caching for product caching pricing um, all those they are using um, easy they are using hazelcast okay so there are um, uh, uh, other uh, jvm languages or uh, for example scala you can use that in scala as well so if you see here the client languages for the hazelcast is java c sharp python scala and node.js okay so you can have those as the client from which you can retrieve the data okay so that is what i wanted to cover about J hazelcast uh, right so i'll just summarize once again what is hazelcast so hazelcast is a in-memory persistent um, storage or cache which is scalable and reliable it has masterless uh, architecture so it can automatically rebalance the data rebalance the nodes in the cluster when, uh, when you add and remove the nodes in the cluster it is highly scalable uh, there are dot, lots of data partitions across these clusters so the data gets partitioned across these clusters um, the in-memory data grid supports the collections uh, framework so you can have map set list queue and multi maps and you can share them across the jvms right so there is also publisher subscriber modeling so you can have uh, publisher subscriber messaging um, so you can use hazelcast for that as well there is also cluster level logs so when you are writing data into the hazelcast instance so you can have logs for that particular cluster there is also um, concurrency utilities provided by hazelcast which you can utilize for concurrent behaviors there is also a distributed executor service which um, which which the data gets written to the different nodes in the cluster okay and you can use um, hazelcast in the cloud as well so hazelcast is now getting integrated with uh, pivotal cloud foundry and other cloud infrastructures so you can see hazelcast usage in the cloud as well okay so that is all about hazelcast so hope you understood what is hazelcast and what uh, how was it uh, created so if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it if you want me to make a video on any particular topic do let me know in the comment section below i'll be able to do that uh, whenever i get time right so meet you again in the next video thank you very much